Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put the power to the test. It's time for K-Check! I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Aini Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Let's meet them. Jano Castillo, who was born and raised in Negros Occidental, believes that there is a place in the workforce for a theater arts major like him. Christine Magpile is a graduate of the University of Santo Tomas with a degree in secondary education. She is a teacher and an award-winning author. Danny Cantos is an FLCD student from UP Diliman who claims to eat all kinds of food. And Christian James Correa is a theater arts major from UP Diliman who likes poetry. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Anvil Piatko, Chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics, UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the Department of History, UP Diliman. Janelle? And now contestants, papaso ka tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can in two minutes and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Jano, Nicaragua is the largest country in which region of North America? Central America. Christine, Vanna White is known as the hostess of which TV game show since 1982. Wheel of Fortune. Danny, by virtue of PD1163, what is the capital of the province of Cavite? Imus. Christian, how many inches are there in three feet? Thirty-six. Jano, which South Africa-born physicist became the richest man in the world this year? Elon Musk. Christine, how many pounds are there in 10 kilograms? Twenty-two. Danny, from 1984 to 2020, who was the host of the TV show Jeopardy? Alex Trebek. Christian, in foods, high fructose corn syrup is commonly used as a substitute for what ingredient? Sugar. Jano, Bob Barker hosted which game show from 1972 to 2007? The Price is Right. Christine, Banged is the capital of which province? Abra. Kate. Danny, which 1990 movie starring Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore is remembered for the song Unchained Melody? Ghost. And Christian, finally, Richard Dawson hosted which TV game show from 1976 to 1985? Family Feud. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Parabian Round. Professor Marian, ano po sa tingin nila ang nangyari sa first round? That's it. So feeling ko ay ninervous lang sila. Pero talagang mga Pinoy ganyan, di ba? Pag una, pabugbog na pabugbog, parang boxing yan. Pero in the end, magra-rally yan. Cramming. So humabol kayo ha. At least may nakascore. Fighting! Fighting! <laughs> At the end of the K-Check Paramihan, we have Christine in the lead. Kailangan makabawi sila next round, no? Kakayaan nila yan. Ready na ba kayong lahat para sa susunod na pabilisan round? That's next dito sa... K-Check! ating 
karunungan check. But before we continue, may gusto akong itanong kay Jano. Parang may hugot yung sinabi mo kanina na you believe that there is a place in the workforce for a theater arts major like you. Pakipaluwanag naman to. Uh, siguro this is coming from um, the, the inequality of access. Um, kasi as of this moment, the arts, specifically theater, um, we don't have a system that takes care of people in the creative industry. And for someone to be coming from the province, I want to uh, break also the, the access that it is actually very um, Metro Manila centric then. Um, kaya I hope uh, people out there who are also watching a dreamer and the art enthusiasts in the province, I hope you feel represented. We all have our place out here and let's um, work together to make, a, to make um, arts uh, a viable career path for the young Filipino arts enthusiasts. Christine, how does it feel that you're a teacher and yet it seems like you're taking the exam today? Um, Siyempre nakakapagka na bilang teacher, um, ginagawa lang namin to sa classroom pag may case B. Pero ngayon, uh, na ako na yun nandito, um, kabad ko. Pero sabihin ko na, siyempre bilang guro, um, naghanda naman ako, nag-review naman talaga ako. At siguro gusto ko rin, uh, kaya ako sumali dito kasi nalala ko nung bata ako, inabutin ko yung Battle of the Brains. So, eh wala nang ganung palabas ngayon. So, gusto ko na mahikayat yung mga manonood, uh, lalo na yung mga kabataan na Ma- makilahok sa ganitong uh, uri ng palabas uh, para mahasa sila sa kalinang karunungan. Dani, may tanong ako sa'yo. No? Totoo bang lahat ng pagkain ay kinakain mo? Yes po. Uh, tinruan po ako ng bata ako na walang pagkain ang dapat sinasayang. Lalo na kung pinapaghirapan ng magulang ko yung lalagay namin sa lamesa. Janelle, I mean, may tanong naman ako kay Christian kasi kanina nabanggit niya na siya ay isang poet. Christian, baka pwede mo naman pakiligin ang ating mga televiewers. Magbigay ka naman ng sample ng isang poetry mo. Sige po. Um, ako'y laging tinatanong, ang mundo ba'y patuloy pa rin gumugulong? Bakit ka mo? Kasi nakikita na sa kabataan na parang wala nang gustong mata mo. Alaman po. Thank you, contestants. Now it's time to go into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Contestants, kailangan ninyong mag-strategize. Let's begin! book by St. Thomas More has a title that now means an imagined place in which everything is perfect. Christine. Utopia. Okay, check. Who recorded the most streamed songs on Spotify in 2020? Blinding Lights. Danny. The Weeknd. Okay, check. What do you call flowering plants that have two seed leaves that emerge after germination? Danny. Daikos. Okay, check! Which journalist from Iloilo started the propaganda movement in the late 19th century and edited the La Solidaridad? Correct answer is Graciano Lopez Haina. Which music icon had hits Maybelline and Johnny B. Good on the way to being dubbed father of rock and roll? The correct answer is Chuck Berry. Robert Burns wrote the lyrics for which song traditionally sung during New Year's Eve? Answer is Odd Lang Sang. Which Taiwanese director became famous for the action flicks Hulk, Gemini Man, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Christine. Ang Lee. Okay, check. Danny and Sandy are the main characters of which musical that feature the song Summer Nights? The correct answer is Greece. In what Olympic city did Jess Owens win four gold medals to the dismay of Adolf Hitler? Okay, 
The correct answer is Berlin. What a unit of magnetic flux is named after a Scottish scientist known for the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation. The answer is Maxwell. Hudhud ni Aliguyon is an epic from what province in Luzon? Christine? Kifugao. Okay, check! Known as the oldest boxer to win bantamweight world title, he goes by the moniker the Filipino Flash. Who is this Boholano boxer? The answer is our very own Nito Donaile. That's it for round two. Wow, ibang klase yung round na yon, no? Di ba? Exciting, exciting. Professor Neil, what do you think about that round? Well, tunay na ibang klase, nagpakitang gilas ang kababaihan, no? Sina Christine at Danny, sana sa susunod na round, itaguyod ang kalalakihan ni na Jano at Christian. Thank you so much, Professor Neil. Silipin naman natin ngayon ang ranking ng mga contestants natin. Leading our competition is Christine at 70 points. She is followed by Danny at 40 points. Jano and Christian, you have to work harder. But we still don't know how the story will end until we get to the ultimate pagalingan up next here on K-Check. of the remaining contestants grab the lead. We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers gets a 15-point deduction. At para madagdagan ang pressure sa ating mga contestants in this round, sa mga professors sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of the round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants! Let's, Let's begin. begin! Let's start the round. Professor Anvil, your first question, please. Okay. Um, in Philippine mythology, Maria Sinukuan resides in which Philippine mountain? You know, Sinukuan is Kapampangan Diwata. The most mystic and popular mountain in Pampanga is Mount Araya. Prof. Marian, question number two, please. Something easy first. Which section of the electromagnetic wave spectrum has the highest energetic radiation? Alam na alam nyo ang kasama sa spectrum na ito. Radio waves, microwaves, UV, X-ray, but the one which emits the highest energetic radiation will be the gamma rays. Prof. Neil, question number three. What was the first law passed by the U.S. Congress that promised to grant Philippine independence? This law passed in 1916 serves as the first official declaration of the United States government's commitment to grant independence to the Philippines. The correct answer is Jones Law. Prof. Andrew, question number four. Okay, listen carefully. The National Artist of the Philippines was instituted in 1972 via Proclamation Number 1001 of then President Marcos Sr. Who was the first artist to be conferred the prestigious title? Tinagurian siyang grand old man of Philippine art at isang Bicolano, Fernando Amarsolo para sa visual art. Prof. Marian, next question. To go with its eight arms, how many tentacles does a squid have? Pag 
bi pagkain po ng pusit bilangin. Tentacles actually are used for grasping objects. A squid has two tentacles. Prof Neil, question please. Which department of the executive branch of government has jurisdiction over the National Bureau of Investigation? NBI is one of the line offices of this department tasked to uphold the rule of law in the Philippines. The correct answer is Department of Justice. Check. Prof. Andrew? Okay. Galing sa kulturang popular. In 1989, a band was organized by national artist Ryan Kayabiab. The band was composed of four teenagers, namely Jeffrey Hidalgo, Tony Lambino, Christine, Smoky Mountain. Well, kung alam ninyo ang mga awitin kailan, can this be love and better world? Tama ang Smoky Mountain. Okay, check! Prof. Marian, next question. This is easy. What is the year 2022 in Roman numerals? Madali lang po dapat to. M M X X I I. Prof Neil. This theory advances on the migration of a group of people from Asia into the Pacific by means of Taiwan 66,000 years ago. The main proponent of this theory is Peter Bellwood, a professor of archaeology and anthropology from the Australian National University. The correct answer is the Astronesian Migration Theory or Out of Taiwan Theory. Prof. Andre. Okay. Political science. The 1987 Philippine Constitution is composed of a preamble and 18 self-contained articles with with a section numbering that resets for, for every article. One of the most read articles in the Constitution is Article 3, titled what? Christine, Bill of Rights. Ito ay ang Declaration of the Rights of the Nation, of the Individuals in the Nation, or the Charter of Rights ng Bawat Bansa, the Bill of Rights. Okay, check. Prof. Maria. Sana po ito masagot nyo, what is the equivalent resistance of three 6 kilo ohm resistors when connected in parallel? Alam ko po mahirap yon physics. The answer is 2 kilo ohms. Finally, Prof. Neil. So last question, what lake in South Cotabato serves as a major tourist destination in the said province. The natural lake is the traditional abode of the Tibolis, a major ethno-linguistic group in southern Mindanao. The correct answer is Lake Cebu. for K-Tech Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Christine, our K-Tech Daily winner, with a final score of 130 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thank you to Christian, Chris Danny, and Jano for joining. And we would also like to thank our panel of experts, Professor Anvil, Professor Marian, and Professor Nino. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Tech!